हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज डॉक्टर मयूर अग्रवाल नीट सुपर स्पेशलिटी एंडोक्राइन मैरो फैकल्टी योर गाइड एंड फ्रेंड फॉर एंडोक्राइनोलॉजी एंड टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट डॉक्टर राकेश गर हु हैज सिक्योर्ड सेकंड रैंक इन आईएनआई एसएस एंड आल्सो फॉर द इंटरव्यू हिज रैंक इज 2 सो लेट मी फर्स्ट बिगिन विद द कांग्रेचुलेशन एंड वी वेलकम डॉक्टर राकेश थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग अस दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड being on time with such short notice so i welcome you all uh, those who are listening so let's talk to dr rakesh congrats again so let's Thank begin you. yeah so just tell me about you from where you have done your mbbs md yes, sir i have done my mbbs from pgms rohtak i have done my md from pgms rohtak i passed in july to, uh, 2021 sir during my post graduation i have uh, i was blessed to work under the endocrinology department of our institute also because my guide in the medicine has the additional charge of the endocrinology department so during uh, while working under his guidance i don't interest in the endocrinology sir so that that is the re- main reason i ch- choose endocrinology as a branch sir okay so that way you have answered two three of the common question which uh, the students asked so you took almost a year i believe for the preparation yes sir okay and your interest developed during those time only post uh, md so it was not no, like in you thought uh, no sir i developed interest only in my md uh, also because oh. uh, during the whole 3 years i used to work in the endocrinology department also sir okay okay so for the viewers who don't know about the exact pattern there are two types of exam now the recently pattern has been changed for the neat super specialty now they are going to us thus the general medicine part and everything would be covered like neuro cardio nephro gastro endo everything would be asked and a common merit list is made but for the this iniss it is the super specialty wise like for endocrine most of the question would be from endocrinology only so often the students ask that how did you prepare like you would have appeared for both the exam neat ss whereas an ini ss also so how did you manage to prepare for the both because it's a big dilemma like if you want to prepare for neat super specialty you have to focus on everything if you want to get into the this premier institute and you have to appear for the ini ssi ini ss so you need to prepare more for the endocrine so how did you manage for this because uh, usually there are more seat in neat ss so usually the student wants to try in that and it becomes often difficult to read the super specialty yeah very well, initially i started uh, for the preparing uh, preparation with the neat ss uh, and at that time it was only the specialty like there were 60 question from the specialty and 40 uh, questions were from the general medicine so i started my journey while preparation for the uh, endocrinology started with the uh, harrison part covered all the endocrinology from the harrison and after doing that sir i focused on other uh, specialties uh, i covered all, all of them from the uh, textbook sir harrison textbook then mm, i appeared for the nitss exam sir at that time i was getting uh, 179 rank at that rank sir i was getting dnv endocrine but i chose to prepare again uh, so i appeared for the ini exam sir in the april session at that time sir it was uh, like i foc- uh, my target was like sir i have to appear uh, focus more on the need so i uh, and uh, at that time sir pattern has also uh, been uh, changed so it was like pure general medicine you have to prepare for all the specialty you have to be thorough with all the specialty and equal distribution of marks was there for every specialty so uh, at uh, prel session i was not sure that i was uh, i am good that i will get a good uh, rank in the ini so i uh, focus my, uh, myself on only on the general medicine part and just 10 to 15 days before the exam i prepared for i prepared for the endocrinology and at that time sir i got around 34 rank in the ini and my score was good sir i scored like 60 marks out of 80 marks sir uh, but at that time the cut off was very much higher like uh, only the those students who were getting 65 or 70 marks were uh, selected were, were qualified for the interview so i missed for the interview and then uh, the neat session uh, session was Uh, uh, uh dates were uh, announced uh, at that time sir i prepare, i focused on the what i have read at that time and i just revised my notes and just focused on the medicine part i didn't revise endocrinology at all and at that time sir i was able to get 194 rank and at that r- rank i was satisfied as i was getting a dm endocrine in a, a good institute in india but uh, sir because the counseling was uh, postponed and it was a blessing for me 
sir my sister kept on pushing me like you have studied so hard you have given the whole year of your preparation so my family my wife my sister kept on supporting me like they uh, asked me you should give yourself like counseling is itself postpone you can study a month or more so i study for the month i focus only on endocrinology the mistake i did on the appeal session like i didn't focus uh, i didn't give much time for the endocrinology for this time i just focused on endocrinology i didn't touch the general medicine part and that helped me a lot sir because this time the exam pattern was very tough so the most the questions which were asked in the endocrinology uh, were not the basic questions they are from the williams itself so i uh, the time i have i got after the neat ss i revised williams the fl tables flow chart that helped me a lot uh, getting this right sir so for uh, those uh, listeners who are uh, appearing for the first time usually it is slightly tougher the higher end questions are asked in the inss whereas the some basic questions are asked because everything is asked in neat ss so the level is slightly lower in a neat super specialty whereas for inss because it's a pure super specialty exam so the question are more tougher so uh, we know that like there were uh, 150 questions were are asked in the this neat ss whereas in ini only 80 questions were asked and they are slightly tougher so was the time sufficient or did you struggle with the question paper like the 80 questions were like really tough and you could not solve within those time sir uh, uh, i i was able to do the question paper within 45 minutes those 80 oh. question i was yeah i was able to do the 45 question and i was sure that i out of these 80 questions at least 60 questions would be correct i was sure about that only 20 questions i thought like but i have a uh, picture in my mind that if i have to get a good rank in the institute uh, i not just qualified rank i have to go uh, go through other 20 questions also like so that 20 questions i like uh, gave a second thought and th thought about that and then i appeared but it was not, not like that we are not getting sufficient time for the period if you have a preparation a uh, good preparation you can uh, solve the questions in the right time sir yeah so i believe uh, you working in endocrinology that really helped because ini ss is more about clinical questions and when you have seen the patient that algorithm you can easily uh, put when the question is asked so i believe that's an edge for you yes sir yeah secondly uh, there is a myth like only those candidates are being selected in the interview who actually get their md from a good institute like uh, aims or pgi so you have again uh, broken that myth also so just yes. tell me uh, like what the student should prepare for interview as well sir for the preparation of the interview you don't have to do any extra thing just they used to check your approach to endocrinology like common disorders what is your approach and how you uh, will approach them how will you treat them how will you diagnose them so you just have to have basic knowledge there is no additional preparation for the interview you require you just prepare for the theory exam and that uh, preparation is enough for the interview sir you just have to be confident for that like i myself do, uh, believe the theory that you have like those uh, students who are going through the pgi or uh, who have done their md from the aims they usually get selected in these premier institute uh, i have doubt i have myself self doubt sir a, a lot of self doubt but i just stressed upon that like i have to do my 100% i have to give my 100% but what, uh, what i have learned all through this journey i have to give to them i was confident during the interview session and i just answer the what all they ask me about the approach and uh, i was blessed that uh, i break this myth sir. i have never i i never was associated with either of the pj chandigarh or the em delhi i was from the pjm srotak sir and that was uh, there is no such myth yeah, anyone can do it Uh, you just have to be thorough with your preparation you have to be thorough with your knowledge sir yeah so that is well taken point firstly they don't ask too tough question they just need like how you see a patient what is your approach what is differential diagnosis how the algorithm is followed what would be the first test you would be doing and how would you diagnose that patient that's the basic thing and usually all those rare thing and syndromic thing they will not ask yes and one more thing important like it is really tough for the students to revise they read a lot even some of them read williams also complete williams but at the last moment it is really tough to revise so how did you do that sir uh, there is a theory in my mind that you should read only those thing which you can revise just before just a week before the exam sir so i limited my syllabus 
I just focused on the important uh, topics. I revise uh, for those topics. I re uh, read everything like those topics which are uh, commonly asked in the exams, and that was very helpful, sir. Because uh, if you are not able to revise things, then there is no useful for re reading the Ray disorder or Ray syndrome. That uh, going that is not going to make any difference in the exam, sir. Okay. And uh, what do you feel exactly? Those like now the pattern is changed. The those students who are preparing. What should they be doing? They sh whether they should be reading only Harrison or they should be reading the super specialty book as well. Sir, if the student is uh, the main focus is on the neat SS, then I suggest them to read only Harrison. There is no need to go through the, any specialty book for that. If but they, if there is a focus on the sir, uh, INI sir, then the specialty book is must sir. You have to be thorough with the specialty book sir. So what uh, we tried is to do is uh, we compiled everything. And in marrow videos, we have made it very simple and effective studying so that you can have all those knowledge in very short span of time. And actually, you could reproduce that thing in the question paper when they are asking it, they will give you just one or two minutes. You have to recollect everything and you have to perform in that stressful period. So that is what we are trying to do. One more important question I would ask a personal question, I would say. Now you're getting both the colleges, you're getting AIMS also, you're getting PGI also, you're ranked too, so you'll get obviously the both. So what is your preference? Sir, uh, at right moment, sir, I'm a little bit confused because uh, I never thought of these two institutes. Although PJ Chandigarh is a dream for any, or AIMS Delhi is a dream for anybody who is preparing for any specialty, sir. But getting those institutes at right moment, sir, and now I have to pick from the both the premier institute sir that is like uh, i have to be very thorough with it i have to be confused i have to discuss with my family and i have to sort this up uh, right now yeah so again uh, a very congratulation a tough de uh, decision to make because you are getting both the good things and now you have to choose one between the two so it's a really tough decision both institutes are really good and congratulation again so Hope you come out with a very good knowledge. I mean, any of the both institute is really good. So really congratulations again and hope to see you in person someday. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, sir.